Getting ready to fire this pig up. Now this has the Y Delta starter. we go. We're getting ready to fire. That was the Y contactor. Now we're going into the Delta. of doing a hot pull down on this thing so it is a uh, good test to see how she's running now granted our condenser water is not very warm today so the chances of surging are quite less but she's been sitting off for a few days now We got a little atmosphere. a 98% current limit on this thing right now. Bueno.
so was able to pretty much stop the surging had to bring the chill water set point up had to reset the uh, purge pump out timer again so we could get some good pump out this thing has a leak and it is pretty humid today so we're not able to process that condenser water down as well as I would like but just little baby steps and slowly processing away now that we've got the uh, pump out to start going replacing the oil filter on this RTHD and what you have to do is close off this ball valve close off this ball valve here close off this ball valve here recover the refrigerant out of the line and I'm just dumping it back into the condenser and then at that point I can replace the oil filter and do my oil level checks and all of that. And then, well actually, sorry, I have to pull a vacuum on it and then I can do my oil level checks. But you, uh, this, is, this is the process. After replacing the oil filter, the next step is you have to vacuum down in between your two ball valves. So I have the new filter installed. There's one of the ball valves. And this does have a uh, solenoid valve on it as well right here. And then you just vacuum down to 500 microns and I will probably perform a slight decay test just to make sure that I'm tight.